Are we damned? Are we doomed? Sequestered in our stagnant rooms I haven't seen the sun in days So tell me how my life has changed We trash, thrive on what you throw away Austerities are every day Sad to hear you've been forced underground You're gonna have to learn to like it somehow Yep, that, there it is. We're off. Yay! Okay. Okay. Uh, how should we start this? Quarantine day. I forgot. <laughs> um. <laughs> it all comes together, and we can't, you know, we can't out ourselves as late quarantiners, which I don't think we were. But if we get the count wrong, then people will suspect that we have not been social distancing for the appropriate amount of time. Yeah. When's the last time each of you guys did a set? The last time I did a set was at the Comedy Underground in Seattle last Saturday. So I guess okay, I guess it's been seven days. Yeah. How about you? Uh, uh, I did a, a brunch show at the Stand at four fifteen on Sunday. Damn, that's right in under the wire. <laughs> it really was. <laughs> right as they were coming in with the hazmat suits, you were asking people about uh, their mornings. I guess. <laughs> All right. I think the last show I did was that show I did in Pittsburgh a while back and like on like Valentine's Day. I've been out of the game and I I was I took it for granted, I think. I thought I'll get going back on stage any day now. And then all of comedy ended. Uh, that sucks. Yeah, so we, yeah, I guess it, you could, if you haven't been going up a lot as a comedian, you could always pretend that you just were starting the quarantine really early for, like, uh, <laughs> sense of reasons. Yeah. yeah My audience is what I like to call. <laughs> what I like to call a quarantine audience. They're too, they respect <laughs> me too much to show up to my shows <laughs> and pay me. So, um, how do you feel, Lori? How are you doing? Uh, I'm okay. I have uh, three people in the house, and then I have a family member in the garage. So uh, it's it's pretty tight quarters here. Uh, one shower for all. Oh my goodness! So it's you, it's you, your son, your mom, and who else? Uh, uh all the closest I'll say is a family member. <laughs> oh, okay, I gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so how's your, how's your son doing? How old is he now? He's 13, and the, these are the greatest days of his life. Oh, he's um, having a good time? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, they were supposed to be in school this week, and they'd be having their, their testing, you know, California state testing. <laughs> so none of that's happening, and uh, uh, he's just hanging out and having a great time hanging out with a family member and I, every time I walk in the garage they're playing games or watching movies or something so it's good times for him we can only see like a very tiny portion of your face is this oh tight? yeah here we should are. I move yeah. over is that better yeah. oh okay yeah. uh, that helps yeah. seeing if someone's you talking your hair okay your hair looks amazing for quarantine I mean anytime <laughs> but it's like yeah so okay so like I, I I was wondering, like, because I know, you know, so you're a parent, so you're home with your son. Are you, like, what is it like to, like, be maybe homeschooling for the rest of the year? Are you going to, are you going to do it? Is your son self-teaching himself? Is school off? What's up? I, I, I don't know. Like, they, they, they gave them two weeks off for uh because they're supposed to have spring break the following week and then we start up they're all trying to figure it out i don't know i don't under i i don't understand math and uh he's hard to teach anyway i really don't know he was already getting d's you know c's to f's across the board so um <laughs> he can't do any work <laughs> I, I i don't know what's gonna happen it's not what i'm good at is is tutoring and stuff like that that's not what i do and are you, you're working from home for, from, for Conan, yeah? 
Yeah, I mean, we're having like Zoom writers meetings and um, he's going to do the show from his house starting uh, in about a week and a half. And so we're all just trying to come up with ideas that he can shoot himself. <laughs> it's it's going to be really kind of, uh, you know, uh, raw, <laughs> but kind of hopefully inspired by the strike shows where he was just kind of messing around on on camera. And, you know, they, a lot of them were really great. So hopefully this will be like that too he seems like somebody who could pull this off he'd be entertaining yeah. with no audience he definitely yeah, do he... better than a, than buddha judge <laughs> i was on unfa- the uh, <laughs> debut <laughs> to be to be fair that was unfair to him it was his first time ever hosting a late night show and uh <laughs> surprise no audience <laughs> I don't well, know I, I and maybe all aspiring comics their first time should be on Zoom so they never want to do it again. And that way we can just eliminate uh, a certain like hundreds of thousands of people trying to do stand up. That's what I'm talking about. See, the, the <laughs> silver lining to this uh, pandemic is the great purge, the great uh, <laughs> cleansing of stand up com- <laughs> comedy. The lines yeah. are the lists are going to be sh- so short at open mic after this. <laughs> Yeah. Um, um, you were on, so like I've been following you on Twitter for a long time, and I feel like you knew that the coronavirus was going to be a big deal before a lot of people did. Like, I feel like you were tweeting about uh, COVID 19 before a lot of people were aware that it was a problem. I remember that you were uh, an early adopter of coronavirus <laughs> here. <laughs> hey, it didn't sound good. <laughs> Everything I yeah. read sounded kind of bad. <laughs> this is one of the craziest experiences that I've, I've I mean, this has got to be one of the craziest experiences that most people have had so far. I don't know. What do you what do you think? Yeah, I agree. I mean, you know, obviously life is harder for different people on different levels, but it's been so weird that, I mean, just, I guess, watching my son grow up and thinking you should be able to get something the day after you order it and it should be delivered delivered to you and um, all these things that I didn't grow up with. Um, and my life was easy growing up. I wasn't, I didn't grow up in a war or anything. So the it, it, it's so strange how we, how our lives are so easy right now. And again, it's not everybody, but in, in terms of what you can you, the convenience level, I guess, you know, and, and now there's people standing in bread lines for the first times in their lives, including me. And it, it's like, well, holy shit, this is like life for a lot of people for their entire lives, you know? And um, so I think everyone's going to be in for some sort of rude awakening in that way, you know? Yeah, I was, I think also like the fact that it's global makes it feel like I think kind of extra scary because there's literally nowhere that you could even imagine going where this isn't an issue, you know, like it feels like to me, I'm like the only thing that would be more global than this would be like some kind of alien invasion, you know, if we had like, if the aliens finally came, then that would be more like, oh no, what are we going to do, you know, but it's I'm we're in Brooklyn, which is I guess one of the highest cases of the country, although we don't know for sure, you know. Number one. Uh, we're number <laughs> one, baby. Yeah, because Brooklyn wins t- again. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I guess the safest place now is Wuhan. And they have almost zero cases. So if we wanted that might be where we would start stand up back again is going to China. Oh yeah, yeah the fish market. Ground zero. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> the one thing about this that really sucks is just being right about it. it does not feel good at all, you know? <laughs> it would be really cool to be uh, totally owned right now and think, oh, I, all that COVID stuff you were talking about was a bunch of hokum, you know? Like, oh, there's egg yeah. on my face. And then all of this wouldn't be happening. But instead, you're, you know, you're the person who warned everyone about aliens, and now aliens are here. And you're like, yay, <laughs> I'm right good for me there's there's also this weird sense of even right now we're still living in the good times like if if what they're predicting is correct in eight weeks we're going to be in a kind of hell we can't even imagine right now and 
you know, and, and we're, and it's, 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 someone had likened this on Twitter to just running out to the sand when the, when the water pulls back and the tsunami's coming and um, we're just sort of sitting in the sand right now, you know, we can't even really run away from it. Yeah, this sucks. No, I <laughs> definitely feel like you're sitting duck right now. Like there's yeah. not really anything we can do. And, uh, I, we've been reading a lot about what's going to happen. I know a lot about it. I think uh, I have some cool predictions that are fun to think about, and uh, it doesn't help at all. There's literally nothing <laughs> you can do. You can vote right now. Like, have a great time, you know? <laughs> uh, right. What do you think, Kate? Yeah, I mean, to me, it's like, I feel like one of the hardest things about this is like managing the like uncertainty that we don't know how long this is going to go on, what the solution is going to be, what's going to happen. I don't know. To me, th- that feels like one of the hardest parts is, like, just kind of not not knowing, you know? And, you and like, panic reading the news or whatever, but then that, like, makes it worse. I don't know, Lori, how are you, like, what is your, like, uh, self-care for, like, managing the, like, uncertainty of this experience? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm really lucky because my, I still have my job and my income. So, uh, I, I'm sort of like in a different space, you know, than like a regular touring comic, you know? Um, uh, so in, you know, my advice isn't, I feel like it's not helpful (laughs) because I'm, I'm pretty lucky right now. I'm still, I still have like, uh, my flotation devices, you know? I'm not completely without them in the this uh, sea, uh, but um, I mean, I, I I've just been trying to figure out like our say we're we're like this for like 18 months, right? And then we're freed. Are people even gonna wanna feel comfortable in a club, a comedy club, and being in a crowd? I mean, I think we're gonna get so used to not being near each other that even the thought of being in a like a sold out room will be kind of panic inducing to people it i mean i'm just wondering how even if we get a vaccine in 18 months and we can and this version of a uh, coronavirus what 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 it'll be like for for us you know live performers you know i think there's I two know. possible scenarios there's either uh i think what you're describing which is probably true which is everyone's real gun shy when they finally get to go back outside and like why would you go crowd into a dark comedy club or there's like an elastic effect where everyone's like i can't wait to sit at a table with 10 people <laughs> yeah <laughs> maybe yeah. Yeah, you know maybe. yeah yeah i mean like i i could definitely see people being very anxious to go out depending on how long it takes so i don't know i mean I also think that, I mean, they're saying that it's possible that there might be, like, some kind of, like, breaks in the social distancing and stuff, and then I don't know what happens, like, if comedy would, like, kind of pop up during that time for a little bit. Not sure. It's so, yeah, it's all really, really, really uncertain. Um, I have a question. How do we all feel (laughs) about guns? (laughs) (laughs) I think it's a great time Uh, to get one. (laughs) Yeah, uh, not... the lines are around the block in California. Um, <laughs> I don't have one. Uh, I'll. I'm qu- pretty easy to rob. I don't want to. I don't know why I'm putting that out there. But, uh... <laughs> yeah. Well, I just want everyone to know I have many guns <laughs> uh, I'm strapped right now, and I have no I, money I have, either. So yeah, no good luck, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I have no guns, and I have no idea. I I shot a gun once at a comedy festival. Uh, what a shooting they, no it was like not i look i didn't i didn't like go off and do this myself it was the was it at new faces festival. that would be amazing no, no. No, that it would was, be it was cool big... if it was one of those dumb festivals like in some like yeah it's probably in texas somewhere and there's a shooting range in the city and they're like okay so the brunch show on sunday it's called uh bull's eyes and laughs and what you do <laughs> is you shoot a gun every time you get to a punchline at a target and that has incorporated into the stand-up show for no reason other than there's too many stand-up <laughs> shows in that town. That'd be pretty cool. No, Boy, no, what no, if no. you could just shoot, shoot a YouTuber at New, at new Faces? Like, everyone gets <laughs> one, one yeah. bullet. 
Yeah. <laughs> just put them up against the wall <laughs> with <Yeah>. like a <laughs> cigar. <laughs> I really want to like explain this so that I don't accidentally get a reputation as like a shooter. <laughs> um, but the big, Sky, the big Sky Comedy Festival, it's in Montana. And, oh yeah. Uh, they had like a bunch of planned activities like bowling or whatever. But one was the um, one was everybody went to a shooting range. All the comics did. And, you know, I shot, I think, one bullet into a target and then wept uh, like a small child. And it was clear to me at that moment that I am not going to survive the apocalypse <laughs> <laughs> unless I linked up with someone very strong. So, yeah. <laughs> I also don't want to kill anybody. Uh, no, I, I don't know. It's not on my bucket list. Shoot to maim. That's my <laughs> advice. I, I just want to say that I don't, I don't co-sign all the opinions. I'm not going to be shooting people. <laughs> You're on your own on that one, Jake. <laughs> I'm like lying so much about knowing about guns. I'm just pulling like <laughs> phrases I heard here and there. Yeah. I was a city boy. <laughs> We can podcast about it. Yeah, I'll, we will, like, <laughs> if it comes to the point where people are, like, mass, doing, like, mass robbery and stuff, like, every comic will be on, like, Twitter just tweeting about it. <laughs> like, that's our, that's our strategy. Yeah. Uh, well, okay, um, I guess we should let you go in a minute, but, you know, do you have any, like, advice? Was there, is there anything that you've learned that's interesting? Um, yeah. What does social distancing mean to you? Oh, um, uh, I haven't hugged my mother in about four days and, uh, she's starting, she's, she's actually having a hard time with not being hugged. Um, which is uh weird. I hug my son because, you know, I don't know. Well, we get it. We're going down together. He's, he's fine though. He's bulletproof. Um, uh, I, I don't know. I have, I think, I don't think I've been out enough. I've, I've been taking walks, um, and then, you know, crossing to the other street and saying no offense to people, but the, I think everyone's on board now. We're all sort of avoiding each other. Um, I'm about to head to the store to get vodka for my mom and, uh, maybe nice. some other, uh, goodies if I can. Um, but it's, I, I, I'm not too anxious to do digital comedy, digital stand up, Like, Me it, it, you know, yeah, Gavin Newsom says we're California's down till April nineteenth, and I'm I just feel like I can I can wait that out, and then you know, or maybe I'll just it however long it's going to be, I'll just suck when I start back up again. I think we'll all suck for a while, you know. Yeah, I wasn't on board with the digital thing until I thought about it last night. It was like oh, I can set up a little king of comedy like ridiculous late night set in my apartment, and uh, <laughs> you know like mannequins and shit i think it'll be fun it'll be a little yeah. psychotic but fun <laughs> yeah for sure maybe maybe all I'm right well, Lori, thank you oh, I sorry i i feel like i wasn't uh, this was i wasn't uh I, I i i don't know if i contributed to this conversation at all i, <laughs> I oh, apologize just... No, we're just saying hi and like trying to like see how different comedians are doing with all this. <laughs> it's a very strange time. So we just yeah. wanted to say hi and see what you're up to. And thank you so much for talking with us. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not alone in an apartment. I'm I'm surrounded by people. So I'm trying to there's no place for me to escape and that that's a different thing than it in it within quarantine which is, I don't know, some if people are alone in their apartments, that's a different kind of hell. There's like, two, there's two kinds of possible hells and, and I'm in the other one. Yeah. Hell is uh, other people, right? Yeah. As the <laughs> saying goes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm here with some roommates. So that's, you know, that, that's, uh, that makes it, I think a little easier, even if, yeah. even if a little bit of cabin fever sometimes, you know, yeah, I'm in I'm in an undisclosed location with many many firearms. <laughs> I'll never tell. <laughs> All right, well yeah. have the best have the best day you can, everybody, and uh, we will see you soon. Thank you so much. Okay, bye guys. Bye. Thanks. All right.
I gotta think of some cool way to sign off. <laughs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> All right, thanks, All right. Jake. I love your podcast. I'm gonna subscribe the the one you do with Louisa. It's really great. Thank you. I enjoy mm-hmm. making yeah. it. Yeah. All right. So welcome to the underground. Cocked and loaded, locked down. You're the rat. We're gonna watch it all burn. When the ashes settle, we reemerge.